What up, cucks? It's Tuesday night. I mean, Wednesday night. Damn. <laughs> it's Wednesday night. And instead of watching AEW, the hater went out with his friends and had a great time. Lo and behold, when I come back, I decided to give it a nice goog and see what's going on, or I should say what went on in AEW. And lo and behold, to the haters' surprise, what happened was someone debuted. <laughs> Not just someone, cucks. Someone that the hater especially dislikes. I'm talking about none other than Sasha Banks or Mercedes Monet or whatever her name is in AW. If it's not that, I think it's Mercedes Monet. Now, earlier today, someone commented on one of my old videos about Sasha Banks and Naomi and said something along the lines of, this is a certified hater classic. So I decided to watch that video during one of my breaks and I really enjoyed it. So it's kind of coincidental, it's a nice coincidence that the video that I listened to today had to do with what actually happened today in a different context. Now, let's talk about the obvious, talk about the elephant in the room. Just like in the other video, I mentioned how Sasha Banks' entire career is based on the wig she wears, right? When this girl wants to turn heel, she wears a different color wig. When she wants to be portrayed as you know, harmless, she wears a different color wig, and this is no different. She debuted with what appears to be a leopard-style wig. Maybe it's her real hair, I doubt it, you know what I'm saying? To be honest, I didn't watch it, I just saw the picture, so... She had this, like, weird color in her hair, it was very weak, right? Now, from what I understand, she just came out and talked, and Sasha Banks has never been good at cutting promos. Sasha Banks is boring, and of course the fans got excited, because the fans... All they do is get excited about WWE jobbers. Now, let's put it this way. Let's tell the truth for once, right? The fact is that the implications are that everyone, literally everyone that gets released by WWE was not properly used. You would think that everyone that gets released is just an excellent wrestler, and WWE is keeping all the bad wrestlers and releasing all the good ones. So WWE made a mistake, according to many, by letting Sasha Banks go, and keeping Rhea Ripley, right? But obviously, that's not the truth, right? We've seen the song and dance a hundred times. WWE wrestlers debut in AEW. They get a big pop one time. And then before you know it, they're on Elevation or AEW Dark or whatever, where they're just in the dark matches and people just forget they exist, right? Um, this is the case with people like Miro. It's the case with people like uh, Paige. A lot of people that have joined AEW from WWE, especially the women, have gone on to do absolutely nothing. So in other words, to me, this has Ruby Soho written all over it, right? Remember when Ruby Soho, or whatever the hell her name is, it was Ruby Riot in WWE, but now it's Ruby Soho, so I got it right, cucks. When she debuted, she was like, thank God I left that company. Okay, welcome to the pre-show. Welcome to never being on TV just like you weren't on TV in the other company. The only difference is, when you weren't on TV in WWE, you at least were part of WWE. Here, you're not on TV, and you have to settle for the fact that you're just part of AW, a sinking ship. Now, with all that being said, obviously, there's a possibility that Mercedes Monet might get a bigger push. Now, I mean, she probably will, at least, at least in the beginning, right? But the truth is, this formula is not going to work, right? Consistently debuting women and having them beat each other in meaningless matches is not going to work, and nobody wants to see it, right? Think about this. How many times has Riho come back to this company? How many times has Thunder Rosa come back from this company? And then, once you count that, count how many dimes both of them have drawn combined, and the amount of dimes they've drawn is fewer than the number of returns that they've had, right? These are complete wastes of investment. Sasha Banks probably got close to a million, if I had to guess, because that's what Tony Khan does. That's all this company can do, is take people that have had success elsewhere and exploit them as long as they can. Beyond that, they do absolutely nothing to push their own stars, right? Sammy Guevara, Jack Perry, Darby Allen, all of these guys are sporadically on TV, right? The focus is firmly on ex-WWE guys. So, in other words, they don't add anything new with respect to the wrestlers, right? Then the next question becomes, okay, that's fine. Sometimes you can take wrestlers that failed in one company, repackage them, rebrand them, and reintroduce them to the crowd 
as something different. And this might be good, right? We at least have several examples of this working out in the past. However, this is not the case with people like Sasha Banks because she can change her name to Mercedes Monet and wear a different color wig. But at the end of the day, I guarantee it. I would bet nearly everything I have in terms of money that at some point, Sasha Banks will turn heel, probably sooner rather than later, and will likely change her hair color. When this tired shtick happens again, the question becomes, well, what was the fucking point? This didn't draw any money in WWE, and it's not going to draw any money in AEW. Now, the article that I read, I forget which source it was, but I read an article that talked about this. I did the, the AW results. And one of the points that the author made was like, you know, she did a good job introducing herself to some fans that may not know who she is. Like, first of all, everybody that watches AEW knows who Sasha Banks is, right? Which brings me to my real point. And that is this. If you cannot bring any new eyeballs, then you've done nothing for the company that you work for, right? If you cannot generate revenue that would not be generated but for your presence, then you've done nothing. You've contributed absolutely nothing. And I think that's the situation that Mercedes Monet finds herself in, right? She's here for a paycheck, right? Maybe she'll go back to WWE. It does appear now that going to AEW is a way back to the WWE, right? We've seen Cucky do it, and we've seen other people not use it as a way back, but use it as a way, use it as a path, right? All of the AEW like wrestlers that have any kind of notoriety will end up going to WWE. If you think you're never going to see Jericho in WWE again, you've lost your mind. It's really that simple. He knows by now that the ship is sinking, and he's going to run out his contract and likely sign a short-term deal with WWE. Maybe at next WrestleMania have like a, you know, like a farewell match type thing, right? He's going to retire in WWE. That goes without saying, right? Now, Mercedes Monet is probably going to do the same, except the problem is she's not Jericho. She sucks, right? So, for all the fans that made themselves very excited about the prospect of, uh, what's her face? Sasha Banks coming to AEW. I got news for you, pal. In a few weeks, you won't remember. Just like when Deanna Perrazzo came back, or came to do AEW, I should say, and everyone lost their mind how AEW has now one of the best female wrestlers in the world. Well, guess what? Nobody gives a shit about that anymore, because now Sasha Banks is here. And tomorrow, someone better will come along, and this will continue, and it will continue to generate absolutely no viewers, and generate absolutely no money. So with that being said, I will label Mercedes Monet's debut in AEW to be a colossal failure already, and I have zero interest, personally, and seeing where this goes, cucks.